Oh boy, a heartbreaker for the Carolina Hurricanes. The Detroit Red Wings scoring with less than four seconds left in last night's game to come away with a 3-2 win. It's the third straight loss for the Canes. They will be back on the ice tomorrow night against the Montreal Canadiens. With that in mind, let's get to our Carolina Hurricanes insider, Adam Gold, from the Adam Gold Show on 99.9 The Fan. Adam, always great talking hockey with you. Listen. Coach Brendan Moore has been tweaking this lineup, trying to find some winning combinations since uh, Shretsikov went down. Let's start with last night's game. How will you? How do you assess their play? Well, the strange thing is, is they played pretty well. I wouldn't call it a great game. They dominated the puck. They had more, way more shot attempts, almost three to one, in shot attempts to the Red Wings. But the quality of Carolina's chances just wasn't good enough for all the time they had the puck. Uh, so that needs to be addressed. Th this is not uncommon for them anyway, uh, mm -hmm. but they are four, five, and one since the Svechnikov injury. I'm not sure it's completely related, but it's not unrelated either. There, are, there, there are some things they're working through. Uh, they need to get better goaltending, but mm -hmm. I think last night was really about kind of little the little details more than anything else because there was a one physical breakdown or a mental breakdown. Yeah that led to all three Detroit goals. And those things can't happen this time of the year. Yeah. You know, we do this once a month, Adam, just to keep Canes fans updated on the team and see what's going on. Lately, Coach has been preaching no margin for error. Explain to yeah. fans exactly the point Coach is trying to drive home. Well, for this right now, especially because it's not just no Andrei Svechnikov, it's no Max Pacioretty, and they brought him here for a reason to score 30 goals and score big goals uh, in big moments. So it's no Patch, it's no Svechnikov. Last night, Tevo Teravainen's out of the lineup. So because you're not going to score a ton of goals, you just can't make the little mistakes. Brady Shea makes a defensive mistake on the first goal. Uh, and even though Freddie Anderson could have stopped it, probably should have stopped it, it's still the first mistake that allows the opportunity. Uh, and there's, there, there, there were mistakes on all three goals. Brent Burns on the power play goal. The power play given mm. Martin Natchez committing a penalty, an unnecessary penalty, 180 feet away from his own net. Mm. So if you're not going to score a ton of goals, you can't make the little mistakes that lead to opportunities for the other team. Uh, that's the margin for error. You know, fans, they're excited about this season. Uh, they're excited about uh, up until March when things got a little rough there. Going into the playoffs, it's starting April 17th, what concerns you the most about uh, the Kings? Well, real quick, I just want to point out that the Hurricanes are still in first place. Right. They're still <laughs> to be optimistic. That's the plus side. All right, they've got eight games left to play. They still are in control of whether or not they win the division, which will be cool. Uh, the two things that concern me most are the are goaltending, because mm -hmm. Carolina has not gotten consistently good goaltending really now in more than a month, maybe six weeks. And the power play uh, is a concern. But I'm more concerned with just not losing special teams than I am winning special teams. If the power play doesn't score... Just don't give up power play goals. Right. So they lost special teams last night, and they lost the game. But goaltending and special teams are what's going to help you advance in the postseason. Carolina's five-on-five five game is pretty solid. All right. Always great talking hockey with you, my friend. Take care. I'm here. All right. Anytime you need always well be sure to follow the canes corner podcast for a new episode dropping after every hurricanes game of course there'll be another one dropping after the canadians game tomorrow night it's available wherever you get your podcasts and you can catch the adam gold show weekdays noon to three on wrl sports plus and of course 99.9 the fan the show and from hockey to tennis some tennis <laughs> legends are trading in their rackets for pickleball